Hey guys, what's up? Lewin here at GarageBand and beyond. Welcome back. So today I'm going to be talking about recording acoustic guitars and the microphones that I like for achieving uh, acoustic guitar tones that are good for, you know, anything from country to pop to rock. This would also work for folky sort of Americana style sounding acoustic guitars, definitely. Um, anyway, I'm talking about small diaphragm microphones. Um, in my case, you know, I have a pair of the CAD E70s. Uh, to me, you know, in the price range, and I'm talking about $400, $500 and under, uh, in my opinion, nothing even gets close to how nice this is. Um, the high end on this is not brittle, not digitally. It is super nice. Uh, it's smooth. Uh, I wouldn't even call it glassy. It's just like a nice, smooth, accurate high end that's never brittle, um, which is a, sort of a problem that plagues everything else uh, in the category, uh, price category. Anyway, this is a particularly good one, the E70, and I'll quickly mention, you know, this capsule on the end uh, does come off. It comes with two, one's omnidirectional and one is cardioid, but you know, you can just take the capsule off and then you can replace it with the other one that comes with it. But anyway, this is the microphone I like. Now, the reason that you'll find a lot of small diaphragm microphones being used on acoustic guitars in, you know, either your home recording studio or real professional recording studios, you see them all the time, is because they capture pretty much the sound that you want for an acoustic guitar in a full-size mix. That includes drums, bass, pianos, all that stuff. Uh, you've heard me talk a lot about, you know, in a mix, uh, everything should have its place and and not try to and not interfere sonically with the other instruments. You know, be it bass or piano or whatever your lineup is. The nice thing about using a small diaphragm microphone, is, especially on acoustic guitar, is that it really captures pretty much just what you want. It makes it a lot easier to mix it in the you know mixing stage um, because it doesn't get a lot of low end, doesn't get really thumpy unless that's how you've mic'd your guitar. You can get that stuff, but the way I'm about to show you are two ways to mic your acoustic guitar using a small diaphragm microphone to achieve that sort of, you know, rhythmic-y sounding, uh, nice sort of clear, you know, with w some warmth. I will say they are warm sounding, but, you know, again, in rock and pop, you don't really want a lot of boom out of your um, acoustic guitars. You don't want a lot of low end. So that's what I'm going to show you next is, you know, a couple of miking positions using this microphone, uh, Caddy 70. I love it. Um, so I think that's about it. Let's get to the other shot and... Uh, We'll start working with that. All right, so here's the first technique that I wanted to show you. So I have my E70 mounted, you know, on a typical boom stand, and I have it pointed right at the 12th fret of the guitar. And it's probably about three to four inches away from the guitar itself. And so let's just listen to this for a second. And don't worry, as soon as I start playing guitar, I'm going to make sure that this microphone is shut off so you're not getting both of it. So let's go. Right? So probably you can hear how nice and bright the guitar sounds in this position. Um, you know, if you did this with a large diaphragm microphone, you would definitely get the same bright sound, but it would definitely capture a lot more of the tone that's coming out of the shoulders of the acoustic guitar. And right here, what you get a lot is sort of like a low mid-range punch um, that's really not that great, especially when you're mixing, you're going to find, you know, you're notching out a lot in the 200k area um so yeah this is the reason i did this first is because it's the one that i use the most often lately um you know just really close up to the frets so you get this nice you know crisp sound that also does capture a lot of low end that's usable um in the mixing so hold on let me set up a different miking technique different miking position <laughs> and uh and i'll show you that let's do that all right so here's the second microphone position that i'm going to recommend to you today um some of you might recognize this actually from my uh, co1u how to 
mic and acoustic guitar thing. Um, so this is basically the old Beatles position that, I mean, I don't really know what else to say. Um, I've stolen this particular position from a lot of the Beatle movies that you all see. Um, usually they have a large condenser microphone sort of kicked on its side and then angled down pointing right at the sound hole. So I've taken that idea and applied it to a small diaphragm microphone and uh, here's what it sounds like. Right? So you should be able to hear, um, it's got an, a much different low end quality to it. But because it's a small diaphragm microphone, you're still getting that high end um, that you really do need uh, in a rhythm acoustic guitar track or you know any acoustic guitar track, there should be high end in it. And a small diaphragm captures it perfectly for the recording process. Um, so that's pretty much it for today. Uh, you know, always please write questions. If you have them, I always answer them. But these are the two microphone positions that I use the most uh, in my home studio. I use them all the time and I have great results with them. And it was, I thought it was worth sharing with you guys. So that's it. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And uh, I'll see you guys soon. I have actually a lot of really cool things coming up. Something very exciting about GarageBand um, that I think a lot of you are going to like. So anyway, stay tuned. We'll be talking about that later. Bye.